Yeah, you said it perfect. She was total team effort tonight. That's a well played baseball game by us tonight. And it's good to see you. It was very exciting times for all of us, I think. And it was nice to get that first one out of the way. Anytime you win that first game on the road, that's big. That's big for us. And try to do the same thing tomorrow night and try to finish this thing Friday night, hopefully, you know. But uh, we played well tonight, all around. Pitched and played really good defense and had some timely hitting to go along with it. It just seemed like everything that made you guys so good in the regular season came out, whether it was the, the pitching, the bullpen, the timely hitting, and the base running tonight. Like you said, that was it was fun for me to watch because we did a lot of things right tonight. And if we can continue to do that, we're going to give ourselves a good chance, as I continue to say. But it, like I said, it was very exciting times for me as their skipper to watch them go out and compete and play the way they did. They were ready. I knew that. I told you yesterday and all through today that we were focused and ready to go, and you could see that tonight. Yeah, Lowry tremendous there for seven innings. He was exceptional, Shoes. You know what? And he, I don't think he was his best tonight either. He'll be the first to tell you. Trying to feel for that curveball again early on, but good pitchers find a way to get through things, and he got better and better and, and started feeling that curveball out there towards the end of the game. Uh, Greg Porter comes up with two enormous two-out hits. Big hits. Huge hits for us. I, I let him swing 3-0. He likes to swing 3-0 also. And... Uh, Big hit there, and then the one down the left field line was a big one also. And the last one he hit was the best ball he probably hit, you know, the one that Douglas caught out there in center. So, like I said, top to bottom, Rhino had a great game tonight, get us going, and just top to bottom, there's a lot of tough outs throughout that lineup. And the, the defense, tremendous. Uh, Peralta, the huge catch to get out of the jam, and uh, a couple nice plays as well. He made quite a few catches tonight, I felt. And Rhino was himself a short. We made a lot of good plays defensively, I thought. We played really, really – Porter made some good plays at third. Very solid defense, very solid pitching, like I said, timely hitting. If you do that any given night, you're going to give yourself a real good chance to win a game. Defensively, offensively, we threw strikes and uh, gave our chance a team to win, and that's that's what we did. You know, It was a great all-around performance tonight by uh, our team. Yeah, you talked about the offense. Eight different guys have a hit, and uh, kind of the, the relentless offense you guys had all season long. Yeah, I mean, it, I felt like every time there was a situation with guys in scoring position, we came through. And it was, you know, it was fun to watch because, you know, when you're going out there pitching, you're, you're getting a run, two runs every other inning. It, you know, you, you kind of settle down a little bit better, and uh, it's it's fun to play that way. You only had one jam the whole game. Uh, Peralta, the big catch, and you got 16 of the final 18. You retired there at the end. Yeah, yeah you know, it was uh, kind of holding my breath there on the fly ball. But uh, after that, you know, we I kind of established a zone, mixing off speed, and uh, pitched effectively. Yeah, and defensively, you know, Peralta has the catch. A couple other good plays just kind of throughout the defense. You guys have played good defense all yeah, year. Yeah, we, we played great tonight. You know, uh, every every play was made, and uh, it was, you know, when you're going out there throwing strikes, you're getting ground balls that turn into double plays. And, you know, every when you think a ground ball might make it through the infield, there's Corey or Jake making a play, and uh, it's definitely fun to pitch that way. All right, Josh, you want to say hi to back at home? Uh, yeah, everybody back home in Orlando, Fort Walton, Mom and Dad, and my uh, aunt actually drove over from Alabama, so I uh, want we'll to thank her for coming here. Uh -huh. No, we had a, a great tempo from the beginning with Lowey, just, you know, excellent start from him. Defense was phenomenal, and uh, which is, you know, a key element in winning a championship. And, uh, you know, we just plugged away each inning uh, offensively, uh, put a couple runs across early and just kept pounding. And I feel like if we keep that up these next few games, we'll, uh, we'll like the results. You know, what can we say about the, the approach? You get a couple big hits. One, you, you kind of surprise him 3-0, and and maybe surprise him again the first pitch swing the second time. Um, you know, it was just, uh, you know, just trying to work it any way you can. You know, it just it just happened that way. Nothing was really predetermined, you know, and uh, sometimes you just have to take advantage of the situation, and uh, it worked out for us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can continue, continue doing this tomorrow. You know, what can you say about Josh Lowey's seven shot innings to set the tone tonight? Uh, I mean, it's you know, honestly, that probably set the tone for the playoffs. You know, it's a, it's a high bar he set, and, uh, you know, everybody knows how key a defense is. And his tempo kept the defense on its toes. I mean, we took away several hits. They had a, they had a decent night, and we just uh, came out on top. But it was just an excellent start. All right, Porter, you want to say hi to Emmett back at home? Uh, yeah, no, just how's everybody doing? And actually, my family will be up here, so we'll have some more fans in Wichita.